Okay, there are a couple of videos on YouTube about people put horns on their bikes. Well, uh, I did it, but I did it a little bit differently than the other people. See, I put a relay on it and a fuse to protect my circuit. My button's up there. It's a regular old button you get at the parts store. Put a little pipe uh, holder around it. See, my screws are way too long. I'm still figuring this out as I'm going. Put two, these are actually grounds. Put all the way to here. And one goes to my relay, and then the other end goes right to my main ground spot, which is right here on this little bracket I made. These are, uh, this is the A note, this is the F note horn of a uh, Buick Roadmaster. Like that, your truck would have two 88 98 trucks. Any Caprice, typical GM horn. They're pretty loud compared to uh, Japanese horns. And uh, I just see my two grounds. One, actually, my battery. My battery goes straight. Goes is grounded straight to here, and also my relay is grounded straight to here. So basically, the only thing that's breaking the ground is a switch. It's one. I connect the ground. The relay gets power, and uh, powers my horn. It's pretty simple. Just uh, was uh, whatever the money that I put in this thing was going on. The horns I got for 17 bucks. Uh, relay cost me about 10 bucks. The whole holder deal. The button was six dollars. Wiring I already had. And the miscellaneous connectors I'm probably up to another 10 bucks. So add that up. It was kind of pricey, but it's well worth it. It works good. Took the button. It was good. Could add uh, two more horns too. Oh yeah, that's another thing. These horns are um, only uh, well, of one wire and they're permanently grounded. Other what? Other horns that have uh, two. They're uh, two. Yeah, have a two-pin connector, but these are just one. And then the main ground is the uh, the bracket. So I have to take that into um, whatever. Take that. I can't speak. When you design it, you know, you got to make sure it's grounded. So that's how we did it. See, these are my grounds, it's power, power, and then goes around here to my fuse, and that's about it. Just use regular spade connectors at the battery and the, uh, the horn. It's pretty cool. Put your kickstand on this thing. So that's how you put a horn on your bike the right way. Definitely use a relay because you won't get a uh, as much of a voltage drop. Especially with uh, two horns, your battery will last a little bit longer. That's a 14.4 volt drill battery. So, hey, someone's lighting up fireworks. Um, so that's it. Hope this helps out.